there, YouTube. I am back with more Hustle Castle. Alright, so, uh, as you can see, things are looking pretty good uh, here in the castle. The treasury is even larger, and once I've finished this upgrade, the um, kitchen will be much larger as well. Uh, as you can see, both of my tanks are up to level 28. I'm sorry, yeah. So, pretty soon, I will put them back into the rotation. However, a lot of the battles have gotten much more difficult. So, having them will definitely be uh, something good. I'm going to start off with a chest opening. Uh, that's going to be kind of nice for the kitchen. Alright, mana production item. Gold production. Oh, an event ticket. And wow. That's pretty cool. Alright. Some resources. More resources. I'm now getting gold and wood. Ooh. A carpenter suit. Oh, that'll be cool. Uh, although it requires a pretty high level in carpentry. Ah, yep, there's a cook suit. That'll be nice. Alright. More resources. Ooh, some pretty cool uh, mage gear. So we'll start down here in the kitchen. I want to look at what level is he. He's only level 5, so he might want to be uh, trained up. Who's our highest level? Ah, uh, he's at he's at level eight, so we should probably start giving him giving him some of the uh, uh -huh. best stuff. Uh -huh. Actually, all right. So that looks like it's going to be a really uh -huh. good outfit. Uh -huh. Oh no! Yeah. So this is the best food production item we have. This is actually mm. a good amulet. Mm. All right. Mm. We can give these things to him. Oops. Give him back this. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't look like anybody else is going to need this ring. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a necklace. Okay. Yeah, Harold doesn't have a necklace. Mm. All right. So now we're going to look through here. Oh, it doesn't look like I can uh, equip that with anybody. It's a bit of a shame. Have some wood. However, I don't have anybody with a... Uh, as you can see, my highest lumberjack skill is four. However, that required, I think it was eight. Um, yeah, so we'll have to uh, train somebody up for that. We'll check in the mana production room, see if anybody has... Yeah, I, I think that everybody's going to have a better item. Oops. Than this. Oh, actually, no. Mm. So that's a bit better. Mm. All right. So that'll uh, improve mana production a little bit. So, sort of the actual main thing I was going to do in this video today does not actually involve uh, Hustle Castle at all. Instead, I'm going to be talking about uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi, which I saw yesterday uh, evening. It was opening day. But I will try to keep it, for the most part, major spoiler-free. However, there will be spoilers ahead, so please click off now if you don't want the potential of anything being spoiled. All right, to start off, I really enjoyed the film. Um, it was definitely a longer film, but that does not mean it, that it was bad at all. I thought it was a very good Star Wars movie. Probably one of one of my favorites, one of my personal favorites. Um, definitely in the top three. So um, I, I noticed a couple interesting things about it. Probably my favorite part uh, was, was Snoke's throne room. I, I just thought that the use of the red and the, the guards, those, yeah! they looked awesome. 
Now, they didn't really serve too much of a purpose. However, um, there is a scene on the second half of the movie where the guards are actually in battle. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about that scene, but it is definitely an awesome scene, just super visually appealing. Another thing that I thought was really interesting about this um, is the fact that it, it is very much... Oh, we've got a ghost to deal with. It is very much like uh, Battlestar Galactica, or at least the uh, original one, if anyone's ever seen that. But just the very concept of the fact that they are in this one larger military ship, and they're constantly being pursued by a much more powerful force. Um, and, of course, they, they get into some of the, uh, almost like the, all right, we've got to go here to do this type of things that uh, were present in the Battlestar Galactica, at least the original series, as I'd already mentioned, and I'm, I don't want to spoil too much, but I think that that part, you really, the, the very first scene of the movie is them loading the large transport, so it, it doesn't really spoil much of the movie, just saying that. Um, hmm. I thought that, uh, there was a lot of interesting character development and a lot of characters. I liked, uh, some of the new characters, However, they they killed off some of the characters. Not not everybody, but mm. there was definitely a lot of uh, mm. death and destruction going on. Mm. Oh, holy cow! Mm. Wow, she is incredibly powerful. Can't wait to see how powerful she becomes mm. once I uh, equip all of the best items. So that's going to be awesome. Sorry, a little bit sidetracked. Anyway, all in all, I really enjoyed the movie. Um, I, one thing that I think is also interesting about it is how it, it, it started to blur the line, almost between the, the fact that the original Star Wars was very much good rebels versus evil empire. But this started to get more into the territory of, well, of course the rebels are still the good guys, but it's not always quite as simple as good versus evil and stuff like that. And I thought that's definitely interesting that it presents at least some sort of challenge that even the people that you are told are good aren't necessarily always perfect and infallible. Um, hmm. Uh, I, I don't have too much more to say about it. A couple things that um, I disliked or perhaps thought was a little bit uh, weird and strange... There were uh, a couple, a couple minor things that were just sort of odd. For example, uh, Leia returning to the cruiser using, I think it was the Force. That was a little bit, a little yeah. bit strange. And then how, I get they're trying to keep it from the audience, but they have a, a good plan that they don't tell Poe throughout most of the movie. However, there's really no benefit that they get. It's actually does does them more harm than good. Um, to not tell him about this plan. However, one, one thing about the movie is this is definitely the most desperate we've ever seen the, the good guys in a Star Wars film. It really gets down to they've got nothing left, but really as a bit of the theme of, one of the themes of the movie is, is hope. Um, there's also a lot of stuff about like, is it really time for the, the Jedi to end and should we abandon all of this and start something new or do we just have to continue the the old ways sort of the old traditions except with new ideas thrown into the mix um hmm one thing about it is it didn't really have the pacing uh maybe not the pacings but it didn't have quite the feel of a lot of the other star wars movies that's part of the reason why i sort of said it was a bit like battlestar galactica there was Definitely a plot element, uh, was, well, plot similarity, I guess. But also, it was just sort of a, a different way it was done. I mean, it's a different director for this movie. Um, I just, it's, it, it was not bad, definitely. The, the way it was, it was filmed does not hurt it. However, it is slightly, has a slightly different feel than uh, a lot of the other movies in the franchise. Um, but all in all, I just, I think it was a, a really, really good film, very interesting. 
the I think that they still did a good job with having lots of characters, but they packed <clears throat> excuse me a lot of stuff into that movie. It it did feel like a a very long, very detailed story that they were able to condense to. Well, I mean, two hours forty five minutes is still quite a long movie. However, it's it's impressive that they they packed a lot of story and a lot of really good uh, cinematography and stuff like that into one film whereas in modern day a lot of a lot of times you'd see like that would be two parts uh, however i mean i guess it's a trilogy so they can't really do that um it was not a perfect movie but i do think it was a very good movie um Anyway, sort of back to uh, the castle. This room should be done in a minute and a half. What it is, I'm probably going to sign off. You might be wondering why I'm not doing some of the invasions and stuff like that. That's because they've actually gotten to be a bit more difficult than my current team can handle. And it's going to take my, uh, my tanks who are training up here. Once they get to level 30, I'm going to switch them back into the rotation. Probably going to train maybe Isabel or maybe Gray and Finnegan next. Actually, I think Isabel and Finnegan maybe. I don't know. But then I don't want to have to train the two mages at the same time. Uh, but I'll definitely figure something out. Probably going to be Gray and then give his resurrection staff to Haytham and then Isabel. Train her up maybe. Or not Isabel. I'm sorry. I'll do Finnegan and Gray and yeah! give his staff to uh, Haytham. Um, it's going to be kind of cool to have the uh, extra large kitchen. As you can see, I've done some rearranging. I've got a lot of my, all my four wide rooms will be here. These are my one, right, one wide room sort of through here. Then I've got some two wide rooms up there. Then some just other stuff there. Sort of the method to uh, this is I want to be able to, from this angle, see everybody um, in the castle and everything that I might need to collect. Um, but also like this lowest floor, that's my food sort of area. This is my gold area, even con continuing on to the training rooms. This is my warrior area. Um, this is my everything else I need to collect area. And there's a lot of magic stuff going on through sort of this shape. Um, another thing is I upgraded the arsenal recently, so now we have the ballista out there, but we also have magic fire runes. Um... You can, within the last 10 minutes of uh, building something, you can finish it for free. So with that done, I think I'm going to call it an episode. Thank you.